This edition of the Riddler Report is brought to you by... Much the same as last year, most of my list. Uh, exterior, we're, st we're still looking for three fences, I, three gates, I apologize, um, for safety reasons. Uh, one, to keep strange adults out, and to keep every once in a while we have a potential runner, a student who's upset and decides that it's not unsafe to leave the playground. We also have a sandbox, a former sandbox that now is a dirt circle in the playground that poses a health issue. Uh, the playground itself is in extreme disrepair and needs resurfacing. Um, and I know Peter's looked at it, but the cost was prohibited this year. Interior, uh, code rack system is pretty much defunct these days because the hooks are pretty much gone and they're very costly to replace the hooks themselves. Uh, update, as Mr. Beaudry mentioned, um, updating the clock system. Many of our clocks in our in our classrooms no longer work. Uh, additional phone line with a school our size, uh, an additional phone line, we have two lines right now. And in case of emergency, a third line would certainly help ease the call volume. And even on a daily basis, it would ease the call volume. Uh, during design build, a lot of the, cla all the classroom floors were redone, but the gym floor and the hallway floors were never touched. And they're very, very old. So they have a lot of cracks, a lot of replacement tiles. It's, it's in rough shape. Um, pie in the sky would be walls and electrical for the library. The library is kind of an open concept in the center of the third floor, surrounded by all the classrooms and hallway traffic. Uh, it's not very conducive to quiet instruction in any way, shape, or form, although we try. We do have the capability to have video monitoring on four quadrants and we only we have three doors that we use all the time and one of the doors does not have any video feed it doesn't have a video camera the coat rack system the majority of the hooks are missing rendering most racks useless replacement hooks are very costly to replace the coat rack system in in weston what, what, how much money would that be if you had to guess if I had to guess, I'm sure it's extremely costly. We did have one system, one section replaced with, um, I believe, the building department did wood, a two by four, and they used the metal hooks and made a system. The other thing we've been doing is actually buying S hooks and hanging them on the metal in order to have some extra hanging space. At the hardware store, it's been pretty simple. But they did say even to just use the simple wood and metal hooks to replace the elaborate system that's there now would be pretty expensive. I, the, I guess the final point that I would make is I mean, we got a $185 million budget, and I'm just trying to figure out why we can't get the coat rack system at Weston repaired. It seems to me that this would be, I mean, the fact that this is rising to the board level, I, I don't understand. There's a way that they can something can get red flag. I mean, I'll just bring back the the fence at uh, Southside. I know that's been documented. Mm -hmm. That's been documented from when I was the chairman of this committee, mm -hmm. and it, the fence is still like that. So I, I, it perplexes me how something can go on for years and nothing gets done. I mean, I could go over there in ten minutes and pull those poles out of the ground and take the fence down. You know, I'm always talking about the fact that if you go to the state house and you swing your fist. <laughs> You hit a member of the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance. Well, I've never actually showed you any video of the, 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 the way the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance is able to just pack the state house full of liberty activists. Take a look at this. On this day, we had about 30 activists, I think, to fight for more freedom in New Hampshire and prevent the state house from passing bad bills. There have been times where we've had more like 50. Here they are meeting with the governor the same day. And they've had quite a bit of legislative success, too. That's why I'm a member of the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance, and hope you will be too. Find out more at nhliberty.org. nhliberty.org.